Hello class. In this lecture, we will learn about stresses in a soil mass. As you already know, soils are multi-phase systems. In a given volume of soil, the particles are distributed randomly with void spaces in between. These voids are continuous and they are occupied by water, air, or both. In geotechnical engineering, we are interested in analyzing the compressibility of soils, the bearing capacity of foundations, the stability of embankments, and the lateral pressure on earth retaining structures. Now, in order to solve problems that involve this analysis, it is important that we understand the nature of the distribution of stress along a given cross-section of a soil profile. We make use of this effective stress concept where we identify what fraction of the normal stress at a given depth in a soil mass is carried by water in the void spaces and what fraction is carried by the soil skeleton at the points of contact of the soil particles. When a foundation is constructed, changes take place in the soil under the foundation. In effect, this would usually increase the net stress. Now, this increase in net stress is due to several factors including the load per unit area to which the foundation is subjected and the depth below the foundation at which the stress estimation is made. Now, it is necessary to estimate the net increase of vertical stress in soil that occurs as a result of the construction of the foundation so that settlement can be calculated. In the next videos, we will break down stress distribution into two parts. First, the effective stress concept, and next would be the principles for estimating the vertical stress increase in soil caused by various types of loading based on the theory of elasticity.